hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel today what i want to show you to do is how to make a v-shaped turban and it's easy as well you're not going to believe it and if you're a stay-at-home mom or just somebody wants to make extra income you can actually make some money from this because you know this is the trending um the trending styles now like and so you can do that without uh you don't need a sewing machine see i have my thread and needle i'm going to show you how to do it with just your thread and needle and if you want to use a sewing machine if you have all the best that's good for you so we're going to get right away into it i'll show you what i'll need i'll need just any kind of fabric you want it might be your ankara maybe for especially for the turban you might want to use a stretchy fabric i do not have that i don't have a means of getting that right now so i'm going to just use it with a little piece of um of elastic band i'll show you all of that and okay for the turban i need three pieces of material this is the big one and then i have this stripe and another stripe Okay, for the big one, I have the my head circumference. I took my head circumference. My head circumference is 23 inches. My head circumference is 23 inches. So I added a few inches since this material is non fab is non stretchy. If your fabric is stretchy, you would just go with your head circumference. But because mine isn't stretchy, I'm using satin mine isn't stretchy so i added it up to 25 i added it up to 25 inches so i'm using 25 inches for the length that would be my head circumference and for the width i'm going to use 18 inches this is the width 18 inches so i have the length the length 25 inches and the width 23 inches and then I get these two, these two fabrics, these two pieces. It is 18 inches by 5 inches, both of them. Both of them are 18 by 5 inches, both. This is going to be the band of my uh, the band of my turban now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold fold both uh, pieces like this I'm folding it on the right side you see it's shiny the right side is shinier than the wrong side so I'm going to fold it like this and then I am going to pin it down I'm just going to go in with my pins and pin it down. I'm pinning it down to make it easier for me to, to sew and to handle. to do same for this one so after pinning it down I'm just going to place both materials together and then I'm going to measure two inches I'm going to measure two inches like that inwards and mark So I have two inches. I'm going to just make a straight a diagonal line upwards. So I'm going to cut both of them. I'm going to cut the both of them diagonally up to the two inches mark.
There you go. I cut both of them diagonally. And I'm going to place them like so. You see, the folder side is facing you. It's going to it's facing me. It's going to face you. And I get this one. I put them like this. We want to get the V headband. Can you see that? You see? This point meets this other point of the second fabric. I place it again. We want to get our V headband. And then I am going to pin it down. Okay, I have that pinned down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew it from this point all the way till this point. When we get here, we could just do a curve. Okay. We could do a curve here rather than going straight you just do a curve at this point so you could go with your I'll show you if you don't have a sewing machine you could go with your thread and needle you just after nodding the end of the thread you just go in there like that it's easy to do See, I go back. I go back again, and then I go just ahead of the thread. And then I go back. You see, see, it looks so neat, right? Look at the back. It looks so neat. So you could do that with your thread and needle. It's going to be equally neat. Or if you have a sewing machine, you get your sewing machine. In my case, I have a sewing machine, so I'm going to use a sewing machine. I just wanted to show you what to do in case you do not have a sewing machine. Okay, so I'm going to sew it on the sewing machine and get back to you. Okay, I'm done sewing. See, this is the V of the turban. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut off this excess fabric just so when we turn it, when we turn the turban inside out, it isn't bulky. Okay. Now I'm going to fold this into two to get the midpoint. I fold it into two equal halves. I want to get the midpoint. Okay, this is the midpoint. I'm going to notch the midpoint. This is like mark, marking it, putting the mark on the midpoint. And then I'm going to take my the uh, other piece of fabric I made for the turban. And then I'm going to fold it into two. The section, I'm going to fold the part of 25 inches. I'm going to fold it into two as well, and then I'm going to notch the midpoint as well. So now that I have the midpoint of the fabric and the midpoint of the band, I'm just going to put it down. Put it. Look at this. The right side is facing up. The right side of the fabric is facing up of the satin. So I'm going to put both midpoints together and pin. I'm going to pin this one like this all the way. So I'm going to pin it all the way like this and I'll pin this one all the way this way. So I uh, finished pinning it. Again I'll explain this part is the right part of the fabric is facing up and I'm pinning it this way. See. I look for the midpoint and I paint it again. If you do not have a sewing machine, you just go in with your needle and thread and sew from one end to the next. But because I have a sewing machine, I'm going to go with my sewing machine. And here, because I do not 
my fabric is not set uh, stretchy i'm not going to sew this end part of it because i'm going to um, put an elastic so i'm going to start midpoint somewhere here and just sew all the way here so i'm done sewing now if i turn it see this is the band okay now at this end i'm going to just fit in an elastic here i just want to put a short band of elastic at the end there i'm going to put in a short band of elastic or it's my yeah i'm going to put in a six inches of elastic so on six inches of elastic I'll cut it this way I'm going to fold this okay this is a band this is where we have our V band I'm going to fold this and I'm going to put in going to measure here I'm going to measure four inches this way and I'm going to mark it four inches on one part of the band and then I'm going to fit put in this elastic to come all the way here the four inches mark here and then open. I'm going to sew it at this point and I'm going to measure four inches on the other part of the band okay a mark in the same elastic see this one I'm just going to pull it out fit it and pin it down so I'm going to sew it here and here so I finished sewing the elastic on both sides you see this is the outer part of the band you cannot see any thread there I finished sewing it we have some other ones here right now so I'm going to turn this inside out inside out so I'm going to sew from here all the way here right up to the band again I'm going to sew from this point down right up to where I have the band I'm going to if you don't have a sewing machine you go in with your thread and needle I'm going to go in with my sewing machine and get back to you okay I finished sewing it all around I'm going to just turn it inside out right now it inside out right now so I want to twist the back and the front um, and this is the top let me start from the front what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this part I'm just going to mark the front the line of front and then I'm, I'm going with my needle I'm just going to put the needle from inside right to the back here okay I have my needle there the line I've drawn here I'm just going to tack to tack first of all you see my thread i actually doubled or it's four i quadrupled it so I'm, i need it thick because i want it to hold this part i'm just going to tack 
See, I'm not so impressed. See, I'm just tagging. Tagging. Tag again. I'm not going to tag the bag. go in the opposite direction now to make sure that it I'm going to go back there just to make sure that it's firm enough I'm going to go back for my needle I'm going to set my needle inside and <coughs> notch the thread Secure it tightly. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on the back. From one in one tip to the next, same thing. We are doing the same for the back. I'm just going to cut along this line, which I sewed on. So, after doing like this, I go back. Remember, I do not touch the band. Just do the same on the body. I do whatever it is I'm doing just on the body of the turban. Go back. And then I send this in. And tie and notch. And that's the end. So, there I go. My turban, my V-shaped turban. Okay, yay.